And just in tonight, the deal to reopen one of the oldest and most popular tourist attractions here in Southern Colorado, steaming ahead tonight. After weeks of considering amendments to the original proposal, Manitou Springs City Council voting in favor of a deal with the Anschutz Corporation in an agreement that will span decades and millions of dollars. Thanks everybody for joining us here on News 5 at 10. I'm Rob Quirk. Good evening. I'm Elizabeth Watts. We begin tonight with this major decision that we have been tracking for you ever since the cog shut down last year. Our Sam Kramer sitting through tonight's meeting. He is live with the next steps for us here. Sam. Yeah, guys, hours of discussion tonight and public comment, but nonetheless, the Manitou Springs City Council moving ahead and approving a pair of ordinances related to the COG and getting it back in operation. Tonight, the first repealed the original deal with the COG. The second establishes a new deal that actually gives the city more of its tax revenue back than the original deal did. Now, again, public comment was really mixed across the board tonight. A handful of people expressing their disapproval for this deal, saying it gives just too much in tax breaks to the COG, noting the company never disclosed its need for the financial help until today. But it's also fear the 50 year deal is just too long. While proponents say even with the tax incentives, the COG's economic impact is far too big to push out of Manitou, also touting the railway's 127 years of existence. And it's hard for us as individuals to be visionary over 50 years. The economic impact to this town is immeasurable. In fact, I would probably reconsider staying here myself. Those making that argument are not mergers. Now, for what the COG estimates to be a $100 million project, this deal means Manitou taxpayers front the bill for about 36% of that with a targeted opening of spring 2021. There were also talks of putting the ordinance and agreement to a vote of the people. Council ultimately voted against that five to two. Uh, the same issue is at the heart of a lawsuit in El Paso County Court right now, but you know, folks familiar with the matter tell me they do not expect that to pass either. City charter language literally says in it that ordinances with contracts do not need to go to a vote of the people. Always watching out for you, Manatee Springs. I'm Sam Kramer, News 5. Sam, thanks for the update and for more information on that new deal, the economic impact of the COG in the Pikes Peak region, check out our stories up right now at KOAA.com. Just go to the search tab and type in COG Railway.